Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Laura from Laura Marie Plans and today I have a kind of different sort of video that I thought I would do. I've been seeing so many people do these types of videos. So today I am here for kind of my fall lineup. So it's basically going to be from the first week of October, I think. Yes, the first, actually, it's not technically the first week in my Oristel in October. It's the first but it's the it's when October starts until Thanksgiving and then after Thanksgiving I'm most likely going to just do Christmas kits I might do um a one different kit because I am doing my bachelorette trip in December so I might do a kit for that instead of a Christmas kit I have no idea yet like haven't even thought that far but I thought it'd be fun to show you guys my lineup I actually typically do not have my kits in a lineup sometimes I do and I used to do that but things change so much week to week and sometimes I like to use extenders and if I use extenders I want to use a kit with more extra boxes and so sometimes I will change up my lineup to match how many boxes are basically in a kit or if something like big happens that week and I want to mark it then I will change the kit. For example, like Maisie passed away unexpectedly. So whatever kit I was supposed to use that week in September, I ended up using the kit for her passing, if that makes sense. So this is not like 100% set in stone, but this is what I plan on using for now. I have um, in this binder the kits I'm going to use and then only some of the foil. I haven't picked all the foil because I am going to be using majority core foil and just pulling in from things I already have in my foil collection like half cut headers, overlays, all that stuff. Um, so not all the foil is included, but I thought this would be a fun kit to do um, or video to do. Sorry, not kit. <laughs> fun video to do. Um, so let me know how you guys like this. I can try and do it more in the future, um, but I thought this would be fun. Again, it's not set in stone. So if you see, you know, the kit I'm supposed to use the first week of November and I don't end up using that. That's why, um, I'm sorry, Oliver is outside on the patio on our like swing nest chair we have and he is barking because I left him there with Jake. Jake is there, but I guess he wants me, but if he continues, I will have to pause the video. Um, I tried to give him like his teething ring, so he's a little distracted. But yeah, anyways, this video will probably not be too long, but I thought it'd be fun. I'm trying to make more content for you guys other than my weekly plan with me's and my monthly hauls. So if you guys have any other ideas of videos you would like to see, please leave them down below in the comments or message me or DM me on Instagram, whatever. Um, but I would love to have more ideas for videos you guys would like to see. And I am trying to film more videos um, um, but I am like, you know, working and I have a lot of stuff. So it does take some time, but I am trying to um, do more videos. So um, in here, I just have all my kits for until, like I said, Thanksgiving. And I have these little um, sheet protectors that have the two sections in them. Um, so I have each week kind of sectioned out. So the first week that I'm planning on using, which this is actually the week I'm living in right now, September 27th through October 3rd, which like I said, is technically in the September part of my um, planner in my Aura style inserts at least, but I am using this kit. I have not cut out the branding, which you guys know I do for these kits by Glam Planner just because I don't support her anymore. Um, you guys can see my stories talking about diversity and inclusion um, and kind of I address it all. It's on a highlights in my on my Instagram at Laura Marie Plans and you guys can check that out. It's the only highlight so easy to find but I am planning on using this kit. Um, I'm calling it wildflower that might have been the name i don't know um but i thought this was super cute this would look so good with butterfly foil which i don't have um but i really really did like this art so i'm just going to flip through each kit i felt like these colors were kind of fall vibes um so but also kind of anytime i feel like so I love this, these daisies, I love daisies. Um, so I am planning on actually probably using rose gold with this kit for now, most likely, because I haven't used rose gold in a while. These are the Fashion Girls, which you guys know my thoughts on those. If you don't, look on my stories. This is the house. I don't really like her big full boxes, but I really like this one because 
I think the house is really pretty. Um, it does come with glitter headers and then it does come with this. So there's actually so many add-ons and I am planning on using this this week. So hopefully I have enough extenders I can pull in. I kind of ripped this cello. Um, but I do want to put it. So that is the kit I am using for this current week I'm living. Um, this video I'm probably going to put up. I don't know when I'm putting it up, but I might have already planned with, did the plan with me for this kit. The next week I am planning is October 4th to October 10th. And I'm using this dead inside kit from Scribble Prince Co. I just had this in my, um, September monthly. So you guys would have seen that. I'm sorry. Jake is like talking to Oliver. Um, but this kit is super cute, kind of spooky. I'm trying, I'm getting into the spookier kits. Um, once October actually starts, I love these colors and just so cute. And this art, I believe, came out last year. I believe it's exclusive art, but I didn't use it last year. So I definitely wanted to use it this year. And so I'm using that as the ultimate kit from Scribble Prince Co. And then I did, I believe it came with this fashion add-on. So I'm going to include that. And then I did buy the 15 millimeter strip, which is just in black. And then for the foil, I do have some foil for this one that I added on. So I did get this fat foil in hollow from Sadie Stickers. So you have the headers. Um, I'm planning on doing some mix between the confetti and the not confetti of the bat headers. I don't know why Sadie Stickers doesn't include like 21, I think is the number. It's super weird to me um, and it bothers me, but whatever. So I have those and then I have these overlays. So I am gonna incorporate some bat hollow with this kit. So that is from Sadie Stickers. And then I plan on right now just also incorporating this foil bundle, which is just a confetti foil bundle in hollow. So I'm planning on doing hollow with this kit. I was thinking about doing lavender hollow, but I didn't really have enough lavender hollow that I, and I don't know, because I'm using the bats, the lavender hollow I did have was like either the star format or the heart format. And I didn't want to mix too many patterns. And I felt like this confetti was a lot more simpler. So I am most likely doing this um, hollow with this instead of lavender hollow like I originally planned. So that is for the week of October 4th to October 10th. So I'm using that kit. And then going on, I am using this kit for October 11th through October 17th. And this is called Spooky. This is also from Scribble Prince Co. And this art, I just feel like is such a traditional Halloween kit, which I just think is so cute. I love the colors. I'm going through these rather fast because I do show them all in my like hauls. And I also will have plan with me's on every one of these kits most likely because I've been doing consistent plan with me's like this whole year, it feels like. So um, you guys can see the kit in action there, but this is the spooky kit in the ultimate format from Scribble Prince Co. So I am planning on using that. And oh, I hate these cellos so much. I literally hate cellos. Okay. And then it did come with this fashion add-on, which I love. I love these two girls. I feel like this one looks so much like me, which I really appreciate. And then I am using the 15 millimeter washi strip with this and then for the foil i am planning on incorporating some gold so i have this fun like candy foil which i thought would be really cute because especially of the candy corn if you saw there was a candy corn pattern in this kit um so i thought that would be really cute i'm like completely ruining all these cellos and then i did decide to incorporate some spider web foil i actually need to go back in my foil collection because I'm pretty sure I have more spiderweb stuff from previous years from Sadie stickers. Um, so I'm going to have to go back and look, but I did go ahead and just buy these full box overlays as well as these halves, um, which I thought would be cute to put on boxes, on full boxes or like however you really want. But I am planning on using gold with this kit. So that is for the week of October 11th through October 17th. 
And then for the week before Halloween, I'm actually not using a Halloween kit for now. I am planning on using this kit, which I am calling Golden Hour. Again, that might be the name, not 100% sure. But this week we are actually taking our engagement shoot and we are taking our engagement shoot. We are taking our engagement photos and I really wanted to do them during golden hour. I love golden hour photos. So I thought this kit would be perfect for this and I still felt like it was super fall like. Um, so again, this is from the shop that will not be named. You guys can read it if you're curious, but I thought this would be cute for that. Um, I, by the way, have bought all these kits well before the whole thing diversity and inclusion talk happened um and i spent money on it and it is my right as a customer to still use the kits that i spent money on so i believe i purchased this i don't know um and then there's this box which i probably won't use because not up by the ocean um the glitter headers and then these girls again which I think the lighting in this kit is really, really pretty, the way the artist drew the lighting. Um, so I'm probably going to use, I mean, I just realized that that's gold back to back, which I don't love. So maybe I'll do, I don't know, wouldn't copper be kind of pretty with this and gold, like something else, um, because I'm probably just using all gold for that kit but maybe incorporating something else, maybe champagne lights. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know your guys' thoughts on all of these combinations. And if you guys think um, certain things would look good with certain kits, I would love your input. Um, so this is what I'm planning on using for the week before Halloween. I am, we're set to have our engagement shoot. I think it's October 21st, that Thursday. Um, so I've been saving this kit for that. And then for the actual week of Halloween, which is October 25th through the through October 31st, I am planning on using this kit, which is called Halloween Night. And this is um, art by Darcy, who I love. I rave about her in my haul and how she gave me a wallpaper with this girl. I love this girl so much. So I wanted to use this um, art for Halloween, the week of Halloween, just because this was for sure my favorite Halloween art released. And I love the hint of pink because you guys know I love pink. Um, so this is that kit. And I think this is just super, super cute. I don't even know if I'm dressing up this year for Halloween. I literally dress up every year for Halloween in college. It was like a huge thing. Um, at least, I mean, no, I feel like it's a huge thing at everyone's college. Um, and I would have like five costumes and go out every night. Like it was crazy. Um, and then I do have the bottom washi. I have this girl, which I love. And then the foil I'm incorporating which I'm really excited about is this, um, I think it's her, I don't know what she called it, but this is also from Scribble Prince Co. It might have been her hollow green, sparkly green hollow, I don't know. But I did buy the matte sampler, which I'm excited about because I don't always buy them. Um, but this is in her twinkle format and this is just super, super cute. And I am going to be emphasizing the green in this kit, which I feel like a lot of people said they're doing, they're using this foil. So I felt like this would match really, really nicely. I apologize for all the cuts. This was supposed to be like a one take video, but things keep happening with Oliver and whatever. Okay, now he's inside. So hopefully you guys can't hear him too much. This is the next kit I'm using. So I ended up not doing much fall in September. I did more anytime slash football. Well, I did do the fall football kit, but I don't know. Um, I, I like to do fall between October, between October 31st and Thanksgiving because I don't love most fall art anyway. Um, and where is the opening to this? Um, there it is. It's on this side. Um, what am I saying? Uh, <laughs> I feel like it feels more like fall at that point. Like September, it is now October officially, but September didn't really feel like fall yet. And I really don't like to use the kits if it doesn't really feel applicable. 
So I'm using this autumn leaves kit. I love this kit. I like this one in particular versus the other version, which I feel like a lot of other shops use the white house one. But this house in particular literally looks like a house, like all the houses, a lot, not all, a lot of the houses in my parents' neighborhood. It's just a very traditional like Maryland style house. Um, this is like what the houses look like on my campus at university my undergrad campus at University of Maryland. It just reminds me of Maryland. So I really, really liked it for those reasons. Um, but yeah, so I'm planning on using this. The, oh, that's funny. It has the fall decorations bin, which I don't, I'm not really decorating for fall. I'm not a big fall Halloween person. Um, I feel like I'm getting less and less. Like I was super into Halloween. Um, I feel like this is the same pattern that was in the fall football kit. I was really into Halloween. It might be though, because it's the same artist when I was in college because it was such a big thing then. And I was like so into couple costumes then and all that stuff, but I'm not as into it anymore. And then this is the extra girls. It looks like this girl has like tattoos on like her chest, which I love, super cute. So that is what I'm planning on using for November 1st through 7th I will probably pair gold with this to be honest I'm not sure yet let me know what you guys think down below and then um moving on to November 8th through 14th I am using this kit which I actually attempted to sell but I attempted to sell it very late just on my Instagram I didn't even post it anywhere else I'm sure I could have um, I do like this art. I just doesn't feel like applicable to me um, because I'm not going to a food and wine festival, but it's still really, really cute. So it does come with the strip. This was um, a mystery kit, August mystery from Crass Press. So it is super, super cute. Um, but I don't, I felt like I had to, I don't know. I felt like it was a really specific art for a mystery kit but it's still really, really cute. Wait, oh, I love this box. Like those ice cream sandwiches look amazing. And then these girls is like literally what sold it to me. I think the lights are drawn amazingly. I believe this is done by Kittness Jess. Um, I think this the way she draws lights and the lighting of it is just drawn really, really well. But I love these tall girls so much. Definitely gonna use this one just everything it's even the way she drew this girl like wearing tights under i just i really appreciate it i literally have a louis that looks like this too um this is the first sheet but i move it to the back because i like to see the full boxes so that is her mystery kit and then it did come with this fun like copper shimmery wiggle which i really like um i did want to keep this foil like even if I was gonna sell the kit just because I love it so much. But I'm excited to use this now. So this is in like a fun copper shimmer. I love her shimmer. It's kind of like Scribble Prince Co's tw Twinkle. Um, but yeah, you guys can see it there, super pretty. I think this will look so good as a fall kit. And it does have those bougie boxes as well. So that is what I plan on using November 8th through 14th. Maybe I'll go to like, it would have been perfect. I actually went to a winery last year for my best friend getting engaged, the girl's wedding that I went to this year. Um, so that would be perfect. Maybe I'll go to a winery with Jake, but we're not like wine drinkers. So I don't know. Oh, that's upside down. That's gonna bother me. Maybe I'll go to a winery. I don't know. If not, it's cute enough to use. And then for November 15th to 21st, I'm using this Once Upon a Fall kit. I was thinking with this kit, copper or rose gold would look really good. Not 100% sure what I'm gonna use, um, but I really like how you can change these girls. I like this girl's hair a lot. I love ombre hair because, well, I have balayage more now, but I used to have ombre hair. So I'm pretty sure you can just, yeah, change that, which is really cute. And I love her dress. I think this art is drawn really well. Not sure who drew it, but I'm really into it. And I just love, oh my God, butterfly foil would look good with this too. Who had butterfly foil? Someone had it. I don't know who, but I love butterflies. So I love, oh. This is like a fun, like light gold sprinkled throughout. So maybe I will use gold. Look at that. 
I didn't even notice that. That's super cute. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to use gold. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use gold or like champagne lights with this. Super, super cute. So I have that kit for November 15th through the 21st. And there are not very many boxes because this box is just an extra. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Like I said, I might have to, like this one had a lot of extra boxes. So if it turns out I need not any extenders this week, but I need a lot this week, then I might, you know, do some rearranging. But for now, this is what I'm generally thinking. These cellos are just falling apart with me opening and closing them so much. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I hate that. That's also why I hate cellos. They always stick to my stickers. So that is what I'm planning on using November 15th through 21st. And I did think gold would look really, or rose gold would look really good. But now that I see all that gold incorporated, I definitely think gold would look great. And then this kit, I am planning on using November 22nd through the 28th. And right now I'm planning on using this. Let me know how you guys think this matches. So I will show you guys the actual kit first. And this is the week of Thanksgiving, if I didn't say that. Um, so this is also art by Kitness Dress and Scribble Prince Co. kit. And I just love this person. This girl's also beautiful. I just think this art is so, so cute. Um, so, I am planning on using this for the week of Thanksgiving. And I thought this foil, which I don't, is this called bonfire or something? I don't know. I thought that kind of matched that color. I bought this foil and don't know when to use it. So if you think it would match better with a different kit I have shown you, this is like all the kits I'm planning on using. Let me know, but I think it would match best with this kit. Um. So I have that and then I will show you guys the add-ons I have. So I have the strip here and then I have this which I bought which has the Thanksgiving add-ons and then the Christmas decorating which I said this in my haul video I think. Um, I'm a big believer in not decorating until after Thanksgiving. Um, so I will most likely be decorating for Christmas after or during that weekend after Thanksgiving, following Thanksgiving. That's what I've been doing for the past few years since I've been living um, not at my parents' house. So that's what I plan on doing. And that's why I really like this kit is because it had that element because right after this Thanksgiving art, I tend to go right into Christmas art. So I love Christmas. Um, so right now I'm planning on using this foil. I do feel like it matches pretty well with the red and the orange. It's kind of like an in-between color. And I really like the fall leaves pattern. Um, so I don't know if you guys think that this would match well or if it would match better with another kit I have shown you guys. But I think for now I'm planning on using it with this kit. Um, which will be cute and then maybe using like gold as a chlorophyll. I use so much gold in the fall. I just feel like it's such a like perfect combo with fall kits. So why can I not get this in? For the 8,000th time of this video, I hate cellos. I wish they were all just like the ones that are open, not the ones that close. But yeah, so that is what I plan on using for the week of Thanksgiving, November 22nd through the 28th. So that is like my fall kit lineup. So basically October to through November. Um, so the start of fall slash Halloween until Thanksgiving. So that is everything I plan on using so far or I mean, it is everything I'm going to use. I don't think anyone's going to come out with more Thanksgiving or fall art um, that I will want to use. So yeah, that's what I plan on doing. Let me know how you guys like this video. This is just in a gold binder that I got from Target. It's super cute and sparkly. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys would like to see this for like my Christmas lineup or anything else, let me know. I Like I said, don't tend to usually plan out kits just because everything varies so much week to week for me and what I do and how many extenders I need. And it's just like so much math, it feels like. Um, but that is what I plan on using. I might switch some off 
up, but like the general foil and stuff is all what I plan on using. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just trying to make more content and have more videos up for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future, if you have any other ideas or um, if you have any I ideas for foil combos that would look good for this with these kits that I can still use, etc. So follow me on my planner Instagram at Laura Murray Plans. If you don't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.